Hello, do YouTube. Uh, today I'm gonna do a little video uh, inspired by the recent Powerball record, 1.3 billion dollars. So did some uh, statistical analysis on uh, most probable number to be drawn within the Powerball, and I came up with uh, these numbers: uh, 16, 20, 26, 32, 40, 41 and Powerball 2 and 20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how I came to that conclusion um, and um, in Excel uh, 2016. So here we go. Uh, first thing we want to do is uh, go to the Powerball site. Uh, they got historic. So go ahead and go, go, go to Google and type in Powerball and there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and click on Powerball.com and uh, there it is 1.3 billion dollars some lucky winners gonna get that pretty soon so I'm going to click on uh, continue to Powerball and there it is my numbers that uh, 16 and 32 are at least two of them um, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on um, uh, frequently asked question history and news that's where you're gonna be able to get your data uh, all these links are statistics but what you really want is Powerball doc <clears throat> Powerball link right here um, towards the bottom you'll see two links uh, first link is a Microsoft Word format you can click that if you want you can scrape it but what I like to do is click on this bottom one uh, to get plain text uh, format so go ahead and click on that and here you go you get uh, just plain text um, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna double click it or press control a to highlight all the data left click and copy and go over to your Excel uh, document and uh, open it up I'm using 2016 uh, so you just go ahead and click on blank document it's gonna uh, drop it paste it into one column but I'm gonna show you guys how to parse it out um, so first thing you want to do is just go ahead and go to the data tab um, after you clean it up a little bit this data tab right right over here and then text the column um, so there's two types there's the limiter and there's fixed width um, fixed width is easier to work with you can plant the air the columns anywhere you want um, the limiters is you know using the special characters and stuff but go ahead and choose fix fix width uh, that way um, we can go through this pretty quickly if you if you guys are following along um, as you can see everything is um, parsed out um, evenly um, all you want to do is just kind of move the the arrows uh, over and clean it up a little bit give each column enough space um, you can see there's powerball one um, then two three four and five and then the actual powerball so everything looks good uh, all the data is there just double check making sure it's there move that over to give it a little bit more space give the date column a little bit more space and move that over and um, it looks good so what you want to do is go ahead and press next here and you want to choose text for every single one of these columns um, it's just easier to work with and my personal preference uh, to, to just in case I want to do formatting or something else is easier um, don't import this power play uh, it's not need it for right now so uh, click next uh, you can see it's all parsed out here in individual columns and that's what we want highlight everything and double click on a column line and uh, bring it all together and it's all nice and organized make sure all the data is there um, looks like it's starting from 2016 and goes all the way down to um, 1997 there you go uh, that's a lot of uh, a lot of dates so it's about 1899 drawings um, so first next column we what we want to do is we want to be able to um, label all all of the, the the first five numbers that's available to us and then uh, we're gonna pull a count of in the next column in J so let's go ahead and start here let's go ahead and put one and then drag it all the way down to 69 because there's 69 uh, balls you can pick from. There you go. All right, uh, let's go into the J column and let's go ahead and uh, label this um, count of Powerball, count of numbers or something. Call it whatever you want. 
I'm just going to call it count of numbers picked. Um, so we're going to use uh, the count if um, um, function here. And uh, what's going to do is it's going to count uh, to see how many times that number that number one pops up. So just go ahead and put equal count ifs, open parenthesis, and you can drag from uh, B2 to F2 and all the way down, but I'm just going to go ahead and choose column B through F. It's a lot easier. And I'm all about easy, so let's go ahead and click that. Right there. And go ahead and press the comma. And um, and then row, and then uh, open parenthesis a1, and then close parenthesis, and then close parenthesis again to close the whole function. Press enter. There you go. And the number one shows up 159 times within the whole range here. So we want to drag it all the way down to get a count of all the other numbers. All right, looks good. So two here is showing up 177 times within the um, between the 2016 1997 range. Number four is 165 uh, drawn 165 times. So you can start to see um, where the highest probability of uh, accounts uh, or highest probability of numbers drawn is coming from. So uh, let's go ahead and do the Powerball here. Let's label it Powerball. And um, we're just, let's just go ahead and change this to the first five numbers. And uh, we want to label this 1 uh, through 26. So let's go ahead and put 2 right there and drag it all the way down. All right, 26, and we want to get a count of um, for the Powerball too. So same thing we did in column J. We want to do in column M. All right, so function is going to be um, equal count ifs, and then um, the range in column G. Pretty far down there. Almost there. There we go. Okay, everything in column G and then um, row, or I'm sorry, comma and then row. Open parenthesis, A1, close parenthesis. Close parenthesis closed out the whole function. Press enter. And there we go. We got the probability, uh, we got the uh, probability of numbers drawn for number one, Let's roll it all the way down, all right, everything looks pretty good here, number 60 through 69 has a lower average um, because I think they just showed up maybe two years ago or something like that see here um, you can start seeing what numbers are showing up most often looks like number two is showing up 60 times all right so let's go ahead and go to create the percentage and give us a more of a uh, a look at from percentage point of view. So all we want is pretty easy. All we want to do is here just put uh, equal and then J2 divided by uh, 1899 and we get a percentage. Um, drag it all the way down 
and what we want to do after we drag it down is just format uh, the entire column to make it a percentage give it a percentage symbol uh, we want to keep the first two decimals so okay and we want to do the same thing for well, we can start to see in here uh, there's a 10% right there so that's some pretty high probability of being drawn um, alright let's do the same thing for uh, Powerball percentage and uh, it's going to be into divided by 1899 Alright, and drag it all the way down. Get the percentage for all of those numbers. And you want to highlight everything and um, format the column to a percentage symbol. Keep the two decimal points. Voila, looks pretty good now. Alright, so you can see here we start putting numbers together. We can start seeing high probability. Um, Let's go ahead and give it a visual effect. Go ahead and highlight uh, all the percentage in column K. You want to uh, right click here and go to um, Quick Analysis. Pretty cool tool. Um, quick Analysis right there will give you, um, you know, some uh, visual effects uh, to give you. Uh, more of a visual appeal and, and look at it from a, um, uh, more of a graph graphical view uh, there's formatting there's charts there's different types of chart you can get cluster scatter line chart uh, but what I want to do is go to formatting here I just want to grab the top 10 percent so as you can see it's gonna it's gonna highlight everything pink um, looks like 16 it's a uh, high probable there's 16 again. There's 20. Do the same thing for uh, top 10% of the Powerball numbers. All right, there's 16, there's 20, 26, 32. 40, 41, yep, then the Powerball side high percentage would be 2 and 20, whoops, So there you go, folks. Uh, you can see the first number, 16, 20, 26, 32, 41, and 40. Powerball 2 and Powerball 20. There you go, folks. The top 10% of, of numbers most drawn within the lottery. Um, now, remember, this is probability of a single number being drawn, not the probability of num all these numbers being drawn together. That's a different um, probability analysis that we'll have to do. But if you guys like to see that, just like uh, this video and subscribe, and um, I'll show you in the next video. Thank you.